So let's talk about hyperlinks. Now I'm going to open a document that I've created um, and it's got hyperlinks in it and I will show you how to use them, which I think was the question. You, you, you really just click on them. Um, but let's open this journal, Mindful Daily, and let's go, let's go to the beginning to, we'll go to the index page. And on this index page, there is a hyperlink, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Every number's hyperlinked. These are all hyperlinked. Um, and so I'm going to show you how you can, you can't access a hyperlink with your pen. It doesn't work. It thinks you want to write something. So if I had my calligraphy pen on, it thinks you want to write. It, it won't work. You can't, can't tap it. Right, so we're gonna erase everything off that page. So you, it's best to put your pen down because what I found is when I, when I try and tap things holding my pen, there seems to be some signal transferring between there and, and it doesn't work, it's very frustrating. I'm trying to do things and it's not working. So put the pen down and then I find my little finger works best on here. Oh, oh, it's, uh, <laughs> It's remembered, uh, it's uh, undone my erasing. So I'm gonna put, that's what I mean about the pen. You've, you've just gotta be careful with it. So I'm just gonna put my pen over there. <clears throat> now, <coughs> what is happening right now? Here we go. So these numbers here are, are all hyperlinked and so is the little home index button. So if I press that, it will take me back to where we just were. And I'm going to rub out a different way because that's just annoying me now. I like the erase selection. There we go. And I'm just going to make sure. <laughs> right. So a hyperlink basically is a command that's linked to another page. If I show you the big picture here, a hyperlink is um, a code that's attached in on one page to another page. And when you click it, it will take you there. That's that's really all a hyperlink is. So if we go to this page here and we have a look at it, you can see that every day is hyperlinked and so is the index. So let's go to day 10. I find my, I know they're little, but they're, they're very good, the hyperlinks. Here we are at day 10 and you can see it's day 10 because it's colored in. Then we'll just, let's just say we go to day 19 and you can see it's day 19 because it's coloured in. And let's say we're going to go to day 30. You can see it's day 30 because it's coloured in. And then let's say we want to go back to the index. And there's the index. Let's say we want to go to the good thoughts for the day. And we can... I do find that when it's loading a page for the first time, it takes that extra second. Once you've been using the document, it obviously has RAM um, memory that it, that it has. And so from here, you can take charge of your life and be committed to personal growth or, or whatever, or whatever good thought you need to have. And then you can go back to the index and you might want to be doing day eight. So you click on day eight and then you get there and you know it's day eight because it's there. So again, it's a code that comes in already formatted into the document. So if it's if there's no hyperlinks in this document, then that you wouldn't be able to click anywhere. Um, in the planner that I've created, the this is a monthly planner because I like the big picture planning. So if you go to the big view and you go to the year that we are in, you might want to have a look at March. So you click on March and it brings up March. See how it takes a little bit of extra time because I haven't been working in here. And then March is present. If we want to go back to that index and have a look for another month, we go back and after a second or two, it's there. There is this here. It only stays there for a little while. You can see it said back to page five. Let's just click on June. We'll go to June and you see it says go back to page two. You can very quickly, if you realise you've gone to the wrong spot, you can very quickly go back to where you just were and that will take us back to the index. And that's basically how you use a hyperlink in a document.